hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with block diagram reduction related questions so i think this is the 10th question uh, related to block diagram reduction so here is the block diagram the question in black ink so we will simplify this reduce this into simple form so here we'll make the changes okay so as usual we'll try to pick a spot where we can apply the block diagram reduction rule okay so in this whole uh, block diagram if we uh, see this takeoff point here <coughs> sorry if we uh, see this takeoff point here if we shift it here then there are a lot of things we can do so that it gets uh, simplified so we will be shifting this takeoff point ahead of this block g1 okay so let us see how this will work out okay so here is the block let's say it's g1 or g so this is the input a this is the output a g gain of the block is g so this is the takeoff point it has the value a so the rule says that when we shift a takeoff point either behind or ahead of a block the value of the signal value should stay the same so when we are taking this here it means the value should stay as a but here it is a g so if we add a 1 by g block reciprocal of this gain here we will get value as a so this is what we'll do here when we shift this the takeoff point here we will add a 1 by g1 block because g1 is in the path of this takeoff point so we'll do that so here what we'll do when we shift this we will be taking a 1 by g1 block we'll add it in between okay this this you have shifted it here so actually these two blocks again will be in cascade so we can further simplify it as g3 by g1 g3 by g1 g3 by g1 okay this <coughs> now again these two blocks g2 and g3 by g1 they are in forward path plus sign giving uh, they are the signal values are fed to the summer so they are in forward path blocks so they will get added up so it will become g2 plus g3 by g1 g2 g2 plus g3 by g1 or we can write it as uh, g1 g2 plus g3 by g1 okay let us write g1 g2 plus g3 by g1 g1 g2 plus g3 by g1 okay see how this is getting simple and simple again now so Mm, here again we have to uh, shift something so this takeoff point this takeoff point if we shift it here ahead of this block g1 g2 plus g3 by g1 then we can do something because then these two blocks will become in cascade and then things will get easy okay so again the same thing 1 by g so we'll put a reciprocal of this block here in this path okay so it will be shifting this takeoff point here it means putting a g1 by g1 g2 plus g3 block okay this again these two are in cascade 
so it will become g1 h1 by g1 g2 plus g3 okay so it will become g1 h1 g1 h1 by g1 g2 plus g3 again uh, these two blocks h2 and g1 h1 by g1 g2 plus g3 they are also in forward paths they may look like you know and they are in feedback paths but actually because both the signs are uh, positive it means they are in forward path and they will get added up okay they, these two blocks the gains will get added up so it will become g1 h1 by g1 g2 plus g3 plus h2 so it will be uh, g1 h1 plus g1 g2 h2 plus g3 h2 by g1 g2 plus g3 this this will be the value okay so let us make the change here so it will become like this <coughs> so it will become g1 h1 plus g1 g2 h2 plus g3 h2 by g1 g2 plus g3 this this again these two will be in cascade g1 by g1 g2 they will be multiplied so g1 g1 will get cancelled so it will be only g1 g2 plus g3 see g1 multiplied with g1 g2 plus g3 by g1 so here in numerator here in de denominator g1 will, will get cancelled so it will become g1 g2 plus g3 g1 g2 uh, plus g3 okay now this is a classic negative feedback path connection where this is g and this is h so c by r will be g by 1 plus g h because negative feedback is there so <coughs> it will be let us uh, do the calculations again we have to be very careful while making these calculations because there is high chance that you can make a mistake here so g by 1 plus gh g1 g2 plus g3 that is g by 1 plus g1 g2 plus g3 into h that is g1 h1 plus g1 g2 h2 plus g3 h2 by g1 g2 plus g3 so here this will get cancelled this will get cancelled because here is g1 g2 plus g3 here in the denominator there is g1 g2 plus g3 so it will become very simple here in this case uh, it is easy there are it is getting cancelled out so no need to make a lot of things simplifying terms so it will simply be 1 plus g1 h1 plus g3 h2 plus g1 g2 h2 c by r the transfer function okay so this is the simplified expression okay the transfer function of this this whole block diagram here this